The Peach State is making history. Lawmakers passed a preliminary measure today that puts pressure on Washington to get its act together. The resolution calls for a convention of states. That's where leaders can actually change the U.S. Constitution. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro joins us from the Capitol with more from today's hearing. It's just the first of many hurdles for Senate Resolution 736. Basically, state lawmakers believe Washington is too big, too powerful, and spends too much money. And they're hoping this resolution gives the power back to the states. 15-year-old Amelia Boland is concerned about the country's future. Right now, it's like we're on iron rails, and unless we do something, then we're going down path. That's why she and her family drove up to the Gold Dome from Macon to join dozens of other people from across the state who support Senate Resolution 736. State Senator Cecil Staten filed it last week. It calls for a convention of states under Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution. People are concerned about the federal government, runaway expenses, a bloated government and bureaucracy, too many federal regulations. Here's the breakdown. 34 states must pass similar resolutions. A convention of states would be called where delegates can propose amendments to the Constitution. Then those amendments would have to be passed by three-fourths of the state legislatures to become part of the Constitution. So it's a long process, but this is the method the Constitution gives the states to try to rein in the federal government. The director of the Convention of States project says Georgia is on its way to becoming the first state to ever consider it. It was intended for the purpose of when the federal government was out of control. Today's the day that the founders intended for us to use this very process. But not everyone at the hearing was for the resolution. Let's do some amending of the Constitution, but let's do it the safe way, which is the way it's always been, and we've done it 27 times without calling a convention. All in favor, raise your right hand. The Senate Rules Committee voted in favor of Staten's resolution. Supporters say this will keep the ideals of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness alive for generations to come. It gives me a future and it gives me a hope to hold on to. And I know that if the Convention of the States goes through, that our country isn't completely gone. Senator Staten says this resolution will go before the Senate. If passed there, it'll move to the House of Representatives. And we'll be sure to follow this story. But for now, reporting in Atlanta, Amanda Castro, 41 NBC News. And a few more facts about this resolution. Senator Staten says 20 states are in the process of passing similar ones, but it could take years for anything to happen. There has never been a convention of states called under Article 5 of the Constitution in U.S. history.